Hey folks, welcome to Chapter 6, Step 4, SEO Prep, which is Search Engine Optimization Preparation. Whenever I create a new page, I usually go through these few steps ahead of time just to make sure that I don't forget somewhere down the road. And that is, I optimize or update the meta tags, that's the title, the description, the keywords, and the SEO H1 and the SEO H2 descriptions on the page. This is the SEO1 title, this is the SEO to description within this particular template. And by clicking onto these text regions, you'll see that it says SEO1 and SEO2, and you can change the information in here. This is the title, which uses an H1 tag, and the description uses an H2 tag. Very important for search engine optimization. Basically, what you're doing is you're telling the search engines what this page is about. And that information should coincide with your meta tags to some degree. In other words, the more information that is similar, using similar words or the same words, the stronger the message that you're getting to the search engines about what your page is about. I go into this in more detail in the actual reading of the uh, tutorial here. So to start with, we just simply right click on the page and we go to page properties and we update our title, our description and our keywords. Once that's done, we click OK. Then I go and optimize the title and the description, or I type in a title for my page right into the editable region here, and a description for my page right into this region here. If you have any troubles typing into these small areas, because sometimes it is difficult to get your cursor in here and actually make sense, um, just click on any one of the words and then switch to code view. And typically what will happen at that point in time is the text that you've clicked on will be highlighted, take you right to that spot in the code. You don't need to know HTML to make these changes because all you're doing is typing in new words in place of the existing words and usually those words are in black so it makes it easy to spot them in the page. And it's always sort of surrounded by this H1 SEO1 or H2 SEO2. So that's if you ever find you have trouble trying to edit the text in these little boxes here, you can always switch to code view and just do it manually.